Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome. This is episode 6 of the Keto Savage Show. The question today is brought to us by Chris Dixon, Christopher Brash Dixon. You can find him on social media at Brash Gentleman. Now, his question is a good one, which is why I'm using it. He asks, do you find any benefit in cutting and bulking in keto compared to traditional diet regimen? Is there a pro bodybuilder from the past that you used that used keto or something similar that you look to for inspiration? And do you have any favorite books, fiction or nonfiction? All right, so let me just dissect this one at a time here. So any benefit to using keto in cutting or bulking? I've kind of gone into detail with this with some other episodes, so I'm just going to dive into it in a little bit more depth here. From a bulking perspective, the thing I like about keto is that you have a much better idea of what you're actually bulking, what muscle you're actually putting on. If you're eating carbohydrates, you're going to automatically, by default, hold another 5 to 10 pounds of water weight because of the glycogen holds that water. So with keto, you stay much leaner, you don't have the water weight, and you have a much clearer idea of what muscle you're actually adding to your frame. So I like that a lot for sure. Plus, you stay much leaner in the off-season naturally on keto, so you don't lose all your... I mean, you have to put on a little bit of body fat to build muscle. That's okay. But like this past off-season, I never got above about 9% body fat, but was able to put on some quality lean muscle mass. So I like that for sure. From a cutting perspective, it's just... um, I don't know. For one thing, you're already much leaner to begin your cuts. So it's it's much less of a grueling process. Like I I don't know what my body fat is now, probably around six, I would imagine. Six percent body fat. I've been prepping for about I guess eight weeks now and I have not yet done cardio. I've done cardio I think once and that was more just to get my blood flowing. So just simply by manipulating my diet and my macronutrients, I've been able to lose additional excess body fat and get leaner during my cut in eight weeks without any cardio and I feel really good from a mental psychological perspective compared to other diets um, and this is a, a, I've definitely touched on in the past but when you're doing a typical high carbohydrate based diet when you're cutting you generally keep your protein pretty high because you don't want to uh, lose that muscle and you deplete your fat and you taper your carbohydrates generally speaking with the keto, my fat stays high, my carbohydrates are non-existent basically, and then my protein is very moderate. Um, fat is actually more muscle sparing than carbohydrates, so I'm not really concerned about losing muscle, especially during a cut. And because my fat is so high, my um, mental clarity and my testosterone and my energy stays much higher throughout the cut. And one thing I noticed when I was using carbohydrates is that I would just feel very lethargic, very tired, um, mentally foggy. I have not noticed that whatsoever with keto. In fact, my mental clarity and energy has actually increased because my ketone levels have increased, which acts as the alternative fuel source when you take carbs out of the equation. So I actually feel better cutting than when I did using carbohydrates. So that I love for sure. Um, as far as is there any pro bodybuilders from the past that used keto? Or something similar. Vince, either Geronda or Garanda, he used the uh, steak and egg diet. He made that probably, you probably heard of the steak and egg diet, which is basically steak and eggs cooked in butter. And I believe he recommended two meals a day of steak and eggs. I don't know what that macronutrient profile broke down to. I would assume he'd probably be a little bit higher on the, the protein content than I do with, a, with my ketogenic diet. But that's something similar. And he was renowned for his you know, lean physique year round as well. So that's something similar. I don't know when he was big. I think 60s maybe. I don't know if they'll have to Google him. But uh, yeah, he used something similar to the ketogenic diets. And Dave Palumbo used something as well. But I think he's cycled his. Um, I don't really follow Dave Palumbo so much. So I don't know to the extent that he was on keto. Um, and one last thing here. Do you have any favorite books, fiction or nonfiction? I like that. It's a good question. Not really fitness related, but 
but it's good. I like that. Um, yes, I do. I love to read, but I haven't had a chance to read that much because I've been so busy, and I'm always moving around. It's hard to like find the time to sit down and actually flip through pages of a book. So I've been using Audible, which is an audiobook um, software that you can get from Amazon. And one of my favorite books on there is The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. Great book. Highly, highly, highly recommend it. I've given that book and I've recommended that book to more people than any other book. If you're going through any obstacles in life, whether it's you know training for a competition, um, finances, relationships, no matter what it is you're going through in life, you can relate with the lessons in that book and learn from it and... If there's any one thing I could recommend, it be to get the obstacles the way. Whenever you're feeling down or depleted or just depressed, you get that book, you listen to it. I listened to that book every single day during my last contest prep, and it got me through it. So, The Obstacles Away by Ryan Holiday. I've emailed the author. He's a super cool dude. Um, I'll actually include a link in the description where you can get a, uh, it's an affiliate link I have where you can get a trial, a 30-day free trial of Audible. And that will give you, I think, two free ebooks you get with that, or two free audiobooks. Um, and then I think you could swap them out if you don't like one or the other. And then going forward after that 30 day free trial, I believe it's like 14 bucks a month or something like that to keep the, the program. But Audible is awesome. Like, I'll be on the Stairmaster, I'll listen to audiobooks, podcasts, and audiobooks um, when I don't have time to flip through a book. That way I can keep up my, my education while not having to sit down and physically flip through pages. So there is all I've got to say about that. And um, let's see here. Christopher requested the ebook, So I will get you the ebook as soon as I get this posted. So watch out for that. Thanks for the question. And see you all next time.